Hey, Fee, um, given the positive vibes that seem to be coming in this last week, you know, with good practices and everything, what surprised you or maybe disappointed you most about that first half tonight? Uh, I think not converting what we have been doing in practice into the game is probably the most frustrating thing for us and the coaches because we worked so hard and really drilled um, defense, especially. And it just didn't, we just didn't do what we said we were going to and what we've been practicing this week. What do you chalk that up to? Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's not converting, um, but we have to figure it out fast. So we need to find the answer soon. Any other questions for Fee? Jack, go ahead. Hey, Fee, good to see you back in the court tonight. Um, with, with Ariel being out, it's seemingly indefinitely. Um, do you envision, envision handling the ball more um, moving forward, especially like you did um, in the second half of that first quarter? Uh, I think whether Ariel is here or not, I think, you know, coach has been wanting me to do that for a couple of years now. So it's part of the offense. And I think, think she wants multiple people being able to handle the ball. So regardless if Ariel's here or not, I think that'll be something you'll see more of the season. And then with, with just the storm, with how unselfish of a team they are, with you kind of defending all over the floor, what do you think the most difficult uh, part of defending such an unselfish team is like that? It's, uh, you know, hard to make multiple plays on defense and that's why they're so successful and it's something that we have to get better at um, even if we stop the first play they would make an extra pass or an extra two passes or whatever it might be and that's hard to guard and, and kind of going off of what 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 you said to Jace there about what's happening in practice not translating um, like what do you like what, how is your feeling about kind of the, the team's defensive communication and practice versus in the game like do you think that that's something that is strong in practice and is just not in the game or something that's still kind of developing with, with some of the new faces that, that are on the floor? It seems like it was strong in practice. We had a really great week, in my opinion. Um, you know, I don't have anything to compare it to, but when I got here, I thought we did great. Um, I don't know if we're tired in the game or confused or what it is. Again, we have to figure it out quickly because we know we have another game on Sunday. So um, we have to find a way to be able to transfer what we're doing in practice into games. Otherwise, we're just going to keep losing. Any last questions for Fee? Hey, Fee. Um, I know that this is obviously your first game tonight. And it's still early in the season. But at 0-4, like, does the sense of urgency crank up a little bit, um, knowing you don't want to dig yourselves too deep of a hole here? Yeah, for sure. It's frustrating because we know that we can get a be a good team. You see the players on our team um, and, you know, it's not computing. So it's definitely frustrating and no one wants to start the season 0-4, but we have to let that go and move on and try to learn from our mistakes so we don't, like you said, keep digging a hole for ourselves. Thanks, Fee. Any other questions? All right, that'll be it for Fee. I'll go